welcome back now in this video we will show right down in here right in this card the job description but before that I'll simply go back to the job screen and I will upload a new job I'll go with the development programming that's the job category and the job titles that we will give is we call IT company that is going to be the title and the job description going to be I'll say want programmers with five year of experience in Flutter or C sharp let's give it from here C sharp okay languages programming So there is going to be a description and we will choose a deadline to 20. Okay, post now. The talks has been uploaded successfully. Okay, as you guys can see now, go back to the job screen and there we go. Record ID company by Zain Malik. Want to programmers with a five year of experience in Flutter or C sharp programming languages. Now let's implement the description okay it's going to be right below this procurement right in this card down below in here okay so we will work on that so right above in here below this column first you will have a divider widget okay put comma and right afterwards you will have a text widget in here comma tag this down just call it now in here string we will give that tax the name is going to be job description as you guys know already comma tag is down now we will do some style so as usual text style now first we will set the font size we will set it to 18 and also we will give the color so colors we will go with the white and also the font weight it is going to be font weight we will go with the bold put comma and let's find right in here so simply just press the control s you guys will notice the artwork but before that if you guys didn't hold reload the app first do that i have already hold reload the app i will just simply press the control s and you guys will notice there we go with the divider okay the widget that we call upon right in here and there we go the text widget and there is the text as you guys can see job description now let's move further first we will have a size box right in here to give just some height because we are about to do some work right in here so below in here we will say text widget in here comma and take this down we will say job description is that equal to null so if there will be no job description then write in if we will show nothing in here empty string and if the job description if it's not equal to null if it's contain the description what we will do in here we will simply just show the description that the user will enter okay so in here null check with the job description comma and the text align we will go with the text align dot justify and let's do some style for that so as usual text style okay first we will set the font size it's going to be 14 and also let's just set the color so colors you will go with the gray 
put comma in here and guys in here we got this error because we didn't put in here the else okay I just forgot there we go okay the error is gone now let me just tell you one more time so the confusion will be clear in here as I tell you before if the job description if it's equal to null then we will show nothing because there will be no description so there will be nothing okay and if the job description not equal to null if it's contains some kind of description then we will show that description right in else in here okay the user will enter in if nothing if it's equal to null if it's not equal to null in else we will show that description and there's just style for that and a text line and I hope it's clear now now what we will do just hit the const modifier to remove the zero line so the code will be clean then that's fine okay so there's all the working for the job description now just press the control s and you guys will notice the output there we go okay that's the description that we enter for this specific job we call id company okay want programmers with a five year of experience in flutter or c sharp programming languages let me just show you that also in the job screen there we go okay we call id company and there's a description okay it's working totally fine now we will check for this first one there we go okay so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that now i will simply just add another divider right down in this card down below in here okay you guys will notice this simply what we will do copy that from here go down below this text right in here past it and press the control s there you go with another divider so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya